Hi guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. So I finally did a slight fridge restock at the grocery store today. So that means today we are organizing our fridge and you guys have asked me for so long for a video on like how I organize it and the way I like store my foods to make them last and all the stuff I use. So I thought we would just make one big collective video. If you guys do like this video, let me know and we can continue making them every time I do a fridge restock and all that. So yeah, just let me know. Um, but the fridge right now is looking like a hot mess. We're gonna start by cleaning off my shelves. There's like a ton of food crumbs, drink spills, little things that happen over time that we are going to wipe off. So I'm gonna start by taking all of this out and putting it on my counter and then we will get cleaning. Okay, so this is my bottom drawer. It's the only drawer I have. I know people like have like a meat and cheese drawer, veggie drawer, fruit drawer, stuff like that. We just have this one big drawer. So I like to use it for meats, cheeses, and breads. For example, I have some meat and cheeses that I usually just try and stick on the side. When we have bacon, I try and keep it like sitting upright on the side so we can like easily like grab it. And then when we have tortillas, I just lay these flat down here under everything just so that they don't get all bent and stuff because sometimes with them, the corn ones and stuff, they'll break. Then I'll grab whatever bread I have. So I have some brioche, pumpkin bread, and some bagels. And then I'll just put these over here as well. And then whatever's left, which are all cheeses, I kind of just like put anywhere in here. So that's literally all I put down here. For this little shelf above the drawer, I try to put any extra cans, leftovers, um, anything that doesn't fit in the condiment side section of the fridge all down here. And so for that bottom shelf where I put all of the extra cans and stuff, uh, I have one tub that I put down there just to separate the canned stuff, I guess, from like easy to go packaged snack stuff. So this I will also clean and reorganize. Okay, I'm just gonna dry this real quick. Okay, so in this one, I typically have like, I have leftover guacamole here, salsas, I have a little lemon in a container, I have another package of guac that hasn't been open, I have these pickles, which I'm so pissed off because apparently they're bad, but I'm going to taste one because like, I didn't know pickles went bad that fast. So there's those little things that I usually try and put in here, and then I also... Almost forgot, but I have this guy that goes down there too that I put kind of the more used items in here. Um, but sometimes I might, I like depending on where our fit fridge is at, I put in here kind of whatever will fit. Um, so super, super silly, like nothing crazy. I feel so silly making a video like this. Um, but yeah, we just try and fit shit where we can. Okay. So in here, I was able to store five things. Um, and I'll just keep them nice and kind of put together. And then in here, I'm gonna put my salsa back where I had it. I usually just put the lemon on the side, like honestly, wherever it'll fit. This guacamole, honestly, I don't even know how much longer this guacamole has because I didn't write anything down, so that's my bad. Okay, and then what I can't figure out what to do, like this corn, I know I'm not going to get finished, so what I do have is this roasted corn, and I'm just gonna dump what's left of this corn because it's not a lot in here. That way, those don't go bad or get wasted. I've been trying really hard to be proactive and good at not wasting foods. I also love doing that with like my blueberries if they're starting to go bad, or strawberries or raspberries. I'll put them in whatever fruit container I have in there or fruit bag. Excuse me, little mouse. 
And then these sliced tomatoes. I might put them in this bag and freeze them because I think that would be easier than wasting them. And we have a lot, so I feel like when you cook for two or even four, it's hard to utilize all of that. So I don't wanna waste those either. So we are just gonna freeze these bad boys. Also, I know I try so hard not to buy these bags, but they really are so nice when it comes to like freezing stuff and like meats. Like I don't like my meats in reusable bags. Um, and tomatoes stain those reusable bags. And this is just gonna be a recipe for disaster if I put them in there. But I'm gonna try getting as much air out of this as I can and then just put this in the freezer as well. That way every canned good will not go to waste. It'll just be frozen until we're ready to use it again. Anyway, so let's continue packing this little mama. So we use peanut butter a lot. So I'll put the peanut butter in there. We got some harissa paste. And then I got capers. And I got garlic. I got some olives we can shove back here. What else can I fit in here? Will my pepperoncinis fit in there? No, they won't. But this is actually almost gone. I might put whatever I can left of this on dinner tonight so that that can just have a home. We'll put it in here and then we'll put the little lemon on top. Okay, and then I put this guy over here. And then I put this guy in the middle. And then whatever's left of the stuff that can fit in either of these, it'll all go on the side here. So a lot of broths will go over here. So I have chicken stock, I have chicken broth, and I have two different types of beef broths. So I'll put them in order um, from the best if used by date. So this one should be used before this one. So I'll put those back here. And then I already know that this one's gonna need to be used before this one, and those will also get used this week as well. Got some pasta sauce that we didn't use and some apricot jam. My dad's nasty on the border. <laughs> Queso. And then I have some leftover rice in this bag and then some leftover burrito taco mix that are both going to go right here. Um, so that's my bottom shelf and kind of how I organize all of that. Also today when I went grocery shopping, I picked up some prosciutto and some more bacon. So I will just shove those here with the rest of these meats. So this shelf is the only shelf that will fit anything super tall. So I have some white vinegar that will go here. I'll put the sauce here and then I'll put my dad's whipped cream here. And then we have creamers. And then our Brita, and then some juices, and then that's all that I do on that shelf. Okay, and then for my eggs, I just use this little guy. Um, this and every other plastic container that I use in my fridge are all from TJ Maxx and Home Goods. They have the best storage stuff for such affordable prices. It's insane and my favorite place to get all this. Um, but definitely measure your fridge and what you need before you go buy it all or buy it all knowing that you're gonna have to measure it in your fridge when you get home and then return some stuff. But this is what I do with these. When I'm restocking my eggs, I take the ones that are from the previous carton and I set them aside and then I'll take them out of their container and just put them in their new one. There's no really need for this. Um, I personally just kind of like how this looks. Um, so this is just kind of something I like to do. And then I just put the old ones on top and then this will go on my top shelf in there. And then I just go throw this in the recycle bin. Okay, so here are all of the vegetable grocery items for the most part that I at least store in the fridge um, that I got today at the store. So my goal with these is to kind of just organize it, how it fits, um, what matches proportions. Like I know the mushrooms fit well in these, same with the cherry tomatoes, but sometimes for these smaller, bigger things, I need to put my green beans, broccolini, asparagus, all of that, for example, in there. And then I also, uh, if I have room, I usually just put my 
hip peppers, avocado, jalapenos and stuff in them too. So I kind of just like mess with it and see what works best with the groceries I collected. So that's what I'm going to do now. These are also, like I said, from TJ Maxx and Home Goods. These all come with lids, but out of all of my trial and error with food going bad and trying to store all my produce and stuff, um, I found that as long as they're not covered, it seems to last longer. There are certain things that I can cover that are normally pretty dry. Like I try to, um, like my tomatoes, I can cover these. Sometimes I can cover the mushrooms, but if they're getting too much moisture, especially if they're stacked like this, I'll switch the stacking. That way it just will like let one have some moisture. And sometimes you can put a paper towel in there too, but honestly I just don't use the lids and I try not stacking them if I don't need to, unless they're able to be stacked, I guess, um, just to avoid anything going bad or risking it. I also usually don't do anything on this because if I bag it with the moisture in it, it gets moldy faster. Um, but if I leave it just open, especially because I know I'm probably gonna finish this tomorrow for lunch. Um, so I will just shove that in there as well. Also, a lot of these items do say that they're like already clean and stuff um, and ready to use. So with those, I usually don't wash them, but if it comes to cooking whatever meal I'm using them for, I will wash them, especially like tomatoes and stuff, um, until they're ready to be used. Because I find if I do, I see them like kind of like gets mushier and moldier faster. Washing them beforehand too also gives, puts them in a moisturized environment. Um, and again, like I've noticed that the more moisture that is added to these things, the quicker they go bad. So I will just wash these green beans when I'm ready to use them for whatever meals I decide to make with them this week. Um, but yeah, that's just my spiel. And I'll probably just shove these on top in the front maybe. There we go. Broccolini actually, especially when I don't wash it beforehand, is a very dry vegetable. So if I had to stack any, I would feel, feel comfortable stacking this and like putting the mushrooms or something on top instead. Cause again, I won't wash these until I'm ready for them to be used as well. And then in here, I'll probably put my avocados, which I also store my avocados in the fridge. I actually always get so many hateful comments about doing this, but like it keeps them green and like doesn't let them get too ripe too fast before I'm able to use them. So I pull them out when I have a recipe coming up or if I'm in a mood and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna want like an avocado breakfast or tacos or something, you know, this week. So that's how I organize that. When it comes to this top shelf, I put my bags of like lettuce and stuff up there just so I can see them. I usually open these pretty fast. So I'll probably open these tomorrow for a lunch or dinner. Um, and then I'll just put half of a paper towel in each one and let them each have like a little crack open at the top. Um, just so that, again, that moisture is not building up and uh, creating molds. I put these away at the back because I like being able to just like see them when I look into the fridge. And then I always put my eggs over here. I put the side where with the older ones um, up front, so I grab those first. And then next to that, I'll throw in all of my herbs. Probably just stack them like that. And then I'll go in with these guys i might have to stack something um, which is a little unfortunate but that's okay we might be able to stack these two let's see here yeah so i'll just stack these i'm gonna use some green beans tonight so i think for dinner so um, they won't be covered too long, but there looks to be a little bit of a crack here. So hopefully they'll breathe. Um, if, if anything, if I have to keep it this way, I'll just put a paper towel in with the green beans. So that's my entire first shelf. I also forgot about this cucumber, which I normally would, would just throw on top with some of this stuff, but we'll just throw it on the herbs for now. So beautiful. The next type of veggie that I store a specific way are my carrots. First of all, I do like buying these carrots more than I like buying the already peeled little baby carrots. I think they just have like a fresher taste too. And I think they just taste better in like stews 
and I, I love how these taste like plain by themselves like with hummus and stuff compared to those other ones so this is just what I prefer and this is kind of what I do to store them so I have a little mason jar and a lid I have water in it now and we'll probably have to put more in but what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel these and then I cut them up into sizes that will fit in here I shove them all up in here, I fill it to the very tippy top of water, and then I put the lid completely on. This is like the one veggie that craves moisture, I feel like. <laughs> okay, and then here's my little jar of submerged carrots. I'm going to put these on the top shelf with the rest of my veggies. Okay, so now that that is all done, the last things I have are my fruits. Um, so for this grocery haul, I got some red seedless grapes, and then I got some strawberries and blackberries, which are all in this bowl. I used the Trader Joe's veggie wash stuff, and I feel like it works good if you have used it or you read the ingredients and you're like, that doesn't work. Please don't tell me because in my head it works and in my head it makes me feel good. So let's just leave it at that. For my grapes, my grapes are one thing that I don't like to wash before I put them in there because again, I notice that they kind of start losing their firmness. So I actually just put these in there. Um, same with like, I think I said, I said this about my cherry tomatoes. I don't wash those either until they're ready to be used because I think there's like some type of coating, I swear, on these things that like, help and so i like to keep that there while i can and then these are my little fruit colander bowls that i actually got from crate and barrel they're gorgeous i actually have been thinking about getting another one if they still have this color because i'm so obsessed with them um i'll also link everything and as similar things that i can find to the containers that i have down below but again, you can go to your local Crate and Barrel or your local TJ Maxx Home Goods and see what they have as well. But yeah, I am just going to put my grapes in here and then put those away and then we will finish cleaning up the rest of our strawberries and stuff. Okay, and then for dry food, we're gonna get into that a little bit. Down here, I have like a whole storage shelf with things that might be in like other containers or just stuff that we don't need yet, um, but we have extras of. So I have this old bread box, which we stopped putting our bread in it because it got moldy, which is why I put all my bread in the fridge. On top of the bread bowl, I usually put my starches, like all my potatoes, sweet, russet, gold, whatever. And then I have this black bowl up here as well that was super cheap from Target, and I put all my garlic shallots, onions, and all of that in here. So I actually got some potatoes and a red onion today, so I'm gonna put those in here. Potatoes are another thing I don't wash until I'm ready to use them because every time that I have, they just went bad faster. So I put those there. And then I'll just throw my onion in this bowl and then put that back and just slide it all back. I also feel like putting all my onions and shallots in here, just like let them stay in a dark, cold space. And I always feel like they're way more fragrant and just have a lot more flavor when I actually use them to cook. So there's that. The last things that I have to do are just some dry items that I thought I would just throw in here. I know it was like supposed to be mainly a fridge restock, but this is how I store some of my dry stuff as well. So that's why I'm sharing this stuff with you guys. Um, but I have these OXO or OXO brand containers. They are 100% meant for cereal, but I like using them for chips because one, we don't really have cereal a whole lot. Two, when you have chips and you wanna pour them into a bowl instead of eating out of the bag or the container, you just put them in a bowl like you would cereal and it's, it's so good. So, I have some pita chips and some corn chips this week. So we will get these put in their homes. Here's kind of how that dry food kind of looks. So it's like easy accessible, I can see it all, so I know I have it. Um, and it's just super easy to grab and store and it just keeps everything a little bit more fresh for a little bit longer, especially these ones, because these are like 
air sealed so these are huge too also got those all from tj maxx and home goods now that the fridge is all done i kind of just wanted to go over every shelf again and just show you guys kind of how it looks in the end um so like i said here's how this always looks i love it i love seeing all my like colorful veggies and stuff all in the same little spot just makes me feel good and then down here I finished up these guys and then I put them in their colander and I actually pour them straight into this and rinse it out in this because it lets the water out anyways. And then I just put over one of my microfiber towels and then we got grapes. And then this guy, we have all of my dairy products in it. Butter, cream cheese, sour cream. There's Greek yogurt back there. I'm also gonna have my hummus in here as well just because it fits well and it's out of the way. So there's those. And then down here, I actually have some cute glass cups with little cork tops that I usually put this stuff in, um, but they're in the dishwasher. So I won't be able to switch those over for a while. So sadly that won't be in this video, but I'll still link them down below in case you guys are interested. And then down here again, it's just, it's just like a mess down here. It just is like this, like we don't have a lot of storage up here and they're really thin. So down here is just kind of where a lot of that fits. I also threw in some turkey meat, some of the pizza dough and pizza sauce and stuff like that that I bought today. And then we have our little drawer of breads, meats, and cheeses. So we love her. And that's how I do everything and why I do everything. But yeah, that is everything that I do for my fridge restock organization kind of stuff. Um, I feel like that's the best way I've been able to store everything. So that's how I've done it the last few times. Um, it just kind of is something that works for me. Again, there might be other myths and ideas of how to store veggies that are different from mine. That is okay. This is just kind of what works for us in the food and sometimes for how long we have to store it and just stuff like that. So I don't want any haters. I understand there's many ways to do things. Um, what's this term? It's like there's more, there's, oh, I'm not gonna say that. That's so sad. I was gonna use the term, there's more, more than one way to skin a cat, but Marvel. Mommy would never. Anyways, I'm going to finish picking up my kitchen now and prepping and continuing the vlog that I'm vlogging today, um, which also the haul of everything that I had today and restocked the fridge with will also be in this upcoming vlog for you guys. Um, and hopefully um, this will be before that vlog, so you guys will just know that that's coming. But I'm gonna finish that vlog and clean up my kitchen and stuff. And then I need a shower because your girl worked out this morning and I'm oily and I'm gross and I just want a shower, but I wanted to get this video up for you guys, hopefully tonight or tomorrow. So yes, and I hope you can take some tips and stuff away from this. I hope you guys enjoyed it at least. I don't know, but yeah, let me know if you guys liked this because I could probably do this a few more times. I probably need to get better at it. I have no idea what this is going to look like again. So apologies for that, but yeah, I love you guys. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.